the ongoing quarterback experiment in Denver is taking another interesting turn. The Baltimore Ravens have agreed to trade quarterback Joe Flacco to the Broncos, ESPN's Adam Schefter reported Wednesday. Denver will send a mid-round draft pick to Baltimore in return, per NFL Media's Ian Rapoport. The deal can't be made official until the new league year starts on March 13, but Denver head coach Vic Fangio's connection with Flacco during his one season in Baltimore apparently played a role in the deal. New Broncos HC Vic Fangio spent one season in Baltimore while Joe Flacco was Ravens QB and knows what he will be getting. Former Broncos exec Gary Kubiak also was a Flacco fan, and has mentioned how much he liked the soon-to-be Broncos quarterback. They were strong selling points, Adam Schefter, at Adam Schefter, February 13, 2019 The Broncos have rotated through mediocre quarterbacks since Peyton Manning retired in 2015, with Case Keenum slogging the club to a 6-10 record last season. John Elway's notable QB investments in Denver, asterisk signed Peyton Manning as AFA asterisk drafted Brock Osweiler 57th in 2012 asterisk drafted Trevor Seaman in the 7th round in 2015 asterisk traded up for Paxton Lynch at 26th in 2016 asterisk signed Case Keenum to a 2-year, $36 million deal asterisk traded for Joe Flacco, Field Yates at Field Yates, February 13, 2019 Whether Flacco can turn their fortunes around remains to be seen. The 34-year-old veteran is a Super Bowl MVP with a proven track record of playoff success but appears to be in the back nine of his career, he played in just nine games. Last season while battling a hip injury and remained on the bench in favor of rookie quarterback Lamar Jackson in the Ravens AFC wildcard round loss to the Los Angeles Chargers. The New England Patriots will play the Flacco less Ravens this season but not the Broncos. Denver general manager John Elway apparently is hoping Flacco can help his team return to prominence in an AFC dominated by the Patriots, who have reached the Super Bowl in four of the last five seasons. The Patriots hardly should be concerned about the Broncos as a threat, though, Denver still is just the third best team in its division behind the Kansas City Chiefs and Los Angeles Chargers, and a 34-year-old Flacco won't exactly move the needle. Where the Flacco trade could impact New England is in the 2019 NFL Draft. Many expected the Broncos to target a quarterback in the first round of the draft, including NBC Sports Boston's own Phil Perry, but Denver appears to have addressed that issue via trade. Right finger click here for Phil Perry's 2019 NFL mock draft that means an extra QB could be on the board by the time the Patriots draft it no. 32 and potentially I Tom Brady's heir apparent. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. The Patriots have some holes to fill on their coaching staff, and apparently they'll move toward accomplishing that goal by giving Dante Scarnecchia a little more help, according to The Vindicator, Youngston State's Carmen Bryselo will make his way to New England to serve as an assistant offensive line coach. Bryceillo has been with the Penguins for the last nine seasons, there are a couple of Youngston State products already residing in the Patriots locker room in 2017 third-round edge defender Derek Rivers and practice squad receiver Damoon Patterson, who just signed a future contract with the team. Patriots coach Bill Belichick has long had a good relationship with Youngstown State coach. Bo Pelini, who was previously the head coach of Nebraska, Bryce Ellis hire may signal a bit of a domino effect happening on the Patriots coaching staff at the moment, when defensive play caller Brian Flores took the Dolphins' head coaching gig, he brought with him Patriots receivers coach Chad O'Shea, assistant quarterbacks coach Jerry Shuplinski and corners coach Josh Boyer. Defensive line coach Brendan Daly, meanwhile, has joined the Chiefs staff. The Patriots typically like to promote from within, though they went a different route with defensive coordinator Greg Schiano, meaning coaching assistants to Marcus Covington, Mike Pellegrino, Cole Popovich and Brian Belichick could be in line for new jobs. Otto Foston was a coaching assistant last year, but has joined Northern Illinois as their running backs coach. Covington spent much of his time last season with Patriots linebackers as Flores, the 2018 linebackers coach in title, dealt with increased responsibilities. 
Popovich has assisted Skarnecchia in recent seasons, though with the hire of Bryce Illo, perhaps he'll be moving on to work with another position group. Before heading to Youngstown State, Bryce Illo worked as an offensive assistant at Illinois and Akron. He played his college ball at Duquesne in the late 1990s. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Kevin Garnett could get fired up brushing his teeth in the morning. So, imagine KG's excitement when he toured the Boston Celtics' new practice facility. Before he took in Celtics Lakers at TD Garden last Thursday night, Garnett stopped by the Auerbach Center in Brighton to visit the state-of-the-art facility for the first time since it opened in June 2018. Fortunately, KG's Area 21 filmed the awestruck Garnett as he made his way through the building. There's always a presence within these walls, KG heads back to Boston to check in with the Celtics and watches another classic is added to the Lakers-Celtics rivalry. Pick.twitter.com slash C7L16Z7WO, KG's Area 21, at KG Area 21, February 13, 2019 Here's a small sampling of Garnett's terrific reactions, walking in the building, oh, this is fire. Talk about an interest, seeing a life-sized photo of him, Paul Pierce and Ray Allen on the wall, I don't even know how to take something like that. How do you react to something like that right? Seeing the team hot tub, I need one of these for the crib, walking onto the court, this make you wanna hoop when you come in here, man, everything in. Here is inspiring, bro, on the vibe of the facility, I couldn't understand why I was so energetic, and then I started looking around and there was the banners and just the courts and the parquet. When you put the jersey on, when you come in here, you feel that vibe, you feel that energy and that responsibility. This is what's special about Boston, Garnett would know, he won an NBA title during his first season with the Celtics and left an indelible stamp on the city during his six seasons with the team. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.